What is up guys? Welcome to another episode of Rothkart's TV. Today's episode, I'm gonna go over a few recent pickups, where I'm heading the rest of the month, and everything else that has to do with the hobby. For everybody who's just tuning in, thank you for watching. This is Rothkart's TV. Hope you guys enjoy. Let's get it. All right, so to start, I'm gonna show you guys a few recent pickups from the past week or two. I picked up some good stuff. It is now time for me to transition into basketball, so I've been buying a lot of basketball, and yeah. Let's dive in. And for those who don't have a card case, this is, so I will attach a link below for a card case. If you need a card case for card shows, this is the one to have. This is the XL Zion case. There is a link below. Make sure you guys hit that if you guys need a card case and use code ROTHCARDS. You will get 10% off your case. This is a great case for all card shows. This is the XL. There's four rows. Just a great card case. So let's dive in and let's see the recent pickup. Yeah, got to go ahead and go and get a mink. Yeah, new finger rings in like a set. Yeah, you a bad one of my major big pickups is the Bobo National Treasures 99 of 99 with a 10 auto. This is a beautiful card. And two, I think he has potential to be KD 2.0. Now I know it's not really good to compare players and let Bobo be Bobo. But I will say if he gets more playing time, he goes to a team that actually can use him and utilize his skill set. I truly believe Bobo can be a superstar in the NBA. He's shown a lot of potential. He just doesn't, look, this is how I look at it, right? Bobo plays the way he plays, you know, in preseason, you know, in the summer league. Imagine not how he would play if he had a team and a coach that truly believed in him. That truly said, yo, Bobo, we believe in your skill. We believe what you do. We want you to go out and we want you just to hoop. Just go get buckets. Like you have green light to do what you do. Like I believe we'll see a side of him that we've never seen. Like this man is what? Like 7'2", seven, 7'3", seven, with handles. Like this man can dribble up the court, get a bucket, hit you with the ooh, ooh. Like he can hit threes. Like this man right here can be a superstar in the NBA if he gets the right playing time and goes to a team that truly believes in his skill set. Also, here's some raw pickups. So I did pick up a nice Halliburton auto. This was a nice pickup from this past weekend. I got that in the big trade. Got some nice Clay Thompson autos. Nice Clay Thompson rookie auto. This is a second year Clay Thompson, but this is 11 of 100, which is his jersey number. That was a good one. On card auto as well. Another rookie auto. Another guy I've been picking up is Kevin Porter Jr. Um, so I picked up a few of him at the Hickory Show, and I actually quit quickly sold those so like those were quick flips for me but it just showed how liquid he really is so I was like you know what one thing I realized too if a player scores 50 points in a game that is one indicator that they are a bucket that they get buckets if you can score 50 in an NBA game can't sleep on that player anymore like that to me that puts you in a new category so I've been picking up a lot of Kevin Porter Jr got a nice silver got an orange ice um let's see I did pick up a nice blue shimmer nice blue shimmer this is one's out of 20 so this is a nice one this has potential to be a huge card this is the blue prism out of 199 this card has huge potential. Like I think Trey Young's just did like 6K. Um, I know he's not Trey Young, but like if he gets any any big buzz, like the blue prism is gonna that's gonna be a big one. Let's see. And I picked up a nice XRC Lamar Jackson. That's a nice one. PSA nine. Nice Kevin Porter Jr. Panini one. This one is numbered out of 25 with a nice dual color auto. I mean with a nice dual color patch. This is nice. Shout out to my man Haskins as well. I've been selling Haskins. I've been had him. This this is a card that I might just hold on to just in case he goes in this season. It has a crazy game if Ben goes out, or something comes up. I think people are sleeping on Haskins. You know, this past week he had like a 70 yard touchdown drive. That's, he showed great potential on that. Uh, people have been actually hitting me up like, yo, you got any Haskins left? And I'm like, let me go check the garage. So I looked in some old boxes, pulled out some nice Haskins. I did sell some Haskins. I had a nice Kaboom. I sold that one. I'm also buying this guy right here, Trey Young. I think he's a good buy right now. His price has kind of dipped a little bit. And you know, with the way that they played last season, I think he's only going to get better. He's only going to continue to grow as a player, um, as a team player, as an individual player. And as they make that team better, you know, I think his cards can only see a good uprise. I know some people are like, yo, why are you buying, you know, you're not buying football that much anymore. So here's the thing, right? Right now is an important time in the hobby to pivot. So there's two ways to go about the football season coming up. You could continue to buy or you could sell what you have. So I sold a lot of football in the recent days simply because I don't want to take that risk. Now, I, I still have some football left. Of course, you know, I still have like a nice Matthew Stafford goal. Like I think he's going to play well this year. So I'm thinking about just holding onto this card, you know, maybe for a couple weeks, see how he plays. Cause that card can go from, you know, worth maybe a thousand bucks right now to 3K, you know, if he does end up playing well. But here's the thing, right? So as football season gets closer, you can either choose to sell football and eliminate risk or you can take on the risk. Now, 
Now, you might lose on some cards you have, but you might win on some cards you have, right? So that's the risk you take. If you have a nice Kyler Murray rookie and he starts off hot 3, 4, and 0, oh, you probably just made an additional 30, 40% on those cards. If you keep the Kyler Murray and he ends up 0 oh, and 4, 0 oh, and 3, you know, 1 and 5, not playing too hot, you know, you could miss out on some money if you were selling right now. That, those same cards might go down a little bit, right? So I, I learned the hard way last season with Dwayne Haskins. You know, I had a bunch of Dwayne Haskins. You know, I'm a Washington football team guy. And I, I learned the hard way last season. I bought some Haskins. I didn't sell it before the season because I believed in him as a player. I said, you know what, we're gonna we're gonna do great with him. And you know, which at the end of the day, we don't, I, I've said this before, we don't develop quarterbacks in Washington. He came in, he didn't play up to par. We moved on, simple, right? That's just the risk you have. If you hold quarterbacks and you hold football, there's a chance that the cards you're holding, that player doesn't play well, that team doesn't play well. You know, unlike basketball, it's a five player sport. You know, like you were, you know, five, six guys in rotation, seven guys in rotation. But it's like, they play offensive defense. Like it's quick. With football, you know, like Kyler can play outstanding. Herbert can play outstanding, but they lose games. You know, the defense isn't where it needs to be. You know, the other team is playing super well. And it's just, there's a lot of, there's a lot more that goes into winning football games, right? Than a quarterback or a wide receiver or a running back, you know, in their cards. So if you hold football right now, there's a chance that you lose out of money. There's a chance you make money. There's a chance you lose money. If you sell football right now, you know, you're eliminating the risk. At the end of the day, you're going to get the cash. You're going to get the money to go buy new cards. Me, I'm choosing to dive into basketball right now. I think basketball is a great buy. It's still pretty low. Some cards have dropped from the from the season. You know, it's a good buying opportunity. Now, am I going to hold all these basketball cards till the season? Maybe not. You know, if I, I'll take profits to some cards. I think Kevin Porter Jr. is going to see a big rise, you know, as the hype of the season comes back. Same with Trey Young. Same with Clay Thompson. You know, I, this is going to be Clay Thompson's first year back in two years. You know, if he comes out healthy and starts off strong, like the hype is going to be real. You know, the he doesn't get much hobby love. And I think he's a great buy right now. Um, so yeah, that's kind of one reason why I'm pivoting out of football and into basketball. Now I'm still going to buy football cards, right? I'm just going to take it week by week. If a player does, if a quarterback, let's say Josh Allen comes out week one and he goes like, he just doesn't play up to par. His prices might see a, a slight decrease. So that'd be a great buying opportunity, right? Because maybe the next week he comes out with four touchdowns and now everybody, he's hot. Everybody wants him. So with football, it's like a week to week compared to basketball. It's like a day to day. You know, they play three times in four nights. With football, it's only once a week. They play bad one week, that's a good time to buy. If he plays great, it's a good time to sell, right? So if you have football cards, that is one thing to think about. Like take some profits in those cards you have. It won't hurt you to take profits. You'll never go broke taking profits. And that's one thing that I, I learned the hard way last year with Haskins. So I held all my Haskins until now. Haskins had a good preseason game. Everybody wants Haskins. I then sold a bunch of Haskins that I had. So it works out. I had I held it for a year. Diamond hands, baby. But yeah, so that's kind of the game. That's how it goes. I still do have my big card. Sam Darnold. I still have my big card though. Sam Darnold. NT, PSA 10 out of 99, the true RPA. They play the Jets week one. And if he comes out and plays lights out, four or five touchdowns, 400 yards, I'm telling you right now, this will be for sale on my slab. Starting bid at 20,000, not a bit. Starting buy now at 20K. So I'm hoping he comes out and plays well. Those are the few recent pickups that I do have. Let me double check, see if there's anything else that I missed out. I did pick up this nice LaMelo ball silver. It is slightly off centered, but the surface corners and edges are very, very clean. I'm gonna send this in. I think I'm gonna send this to Beckett. Hopefully get a nine five out of it, make a little bit of money on that. So that's what I'm doing. All right, so those are the recent pickups. If you made it this far in the video, comment below who you're buying this NBA offseason. What NBA players are you buying? Are you scouting and are you looking to pick up? All right, now let's talk about upcoming shows. Today is the 17th of August. This weekend, I'm heading to Wisconsin for the Dell show. I didn't make it to the first show, but I heard great things about this show so i want to go check it out so we're going to head there this weekend the weekend after that i will be set up in dallas i will have a table i have a booth so if you're going to dallas come to the booth sell your cards i'm buying i'll be trading all weekend long hope to see you guys in dallas um september still planning out september i know there is a philly show that i definitely want to go to there's a few other shows that hopefully i can head to hopefully have a full schedule in september i do want to make it out to la very soon that is one goal of mine i haven't been to la in like two years i want to go out to la so if you guys know of any la shows coming up Feel free to comment below or message me on Instagram and uh, let me know about some LA shows. But yeah, that is the recent pickups. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We are shooting in Wisconsin this weekend. I didn't really go to a big show this past week. So I didn't really make much content, um, but we are heading to Wisconsin this weekend and I'm gonna shoot a lot and a lot of content. So it's gonna be good. Can't wait to see you guys in Wisconsin, in Dallas, and anywhere else that I might see you guys. And uh, yeah, let's keep on grinding, keep on hustling, keep on putting in the work. Every single day, we all get the same 24 hours. You determine, you determine what you're gonna do today to get better, to be better, to grow. At the end of the day, nobody's gonna force you to be better. Nobody's gonna force you to wake up early or stay up late or work on your business or grind. It starts here. Put them to work today. Be a little bit better. 1% 1% better each and every day. That's all it takes. Because in over time, if you get 1% better every day over time, you'll be a whole new man in six months. Keep putting in the work, man. Keep grinding. If you do want a case, 
Link is in the description below. Save 10% with code Roth cards man we out here we getting it we putting in the work stay tuned for a lot more to come let's get it all right i'm gonna show y'all a little behind the scenes action if you don't already graded team bags that fit beckett slabs perfectly and fit psa slabs perfectly is the move right because sometimes you get cards like this right where the bag is just ugly so every once in a while i like to go through and make sure that my cards are in perfect size team bag perfect size team bag might not seem like it but perfect size team bag there's non-perfect size team bag you know it's just this one's more tight this one is loosey-goosey so we're gonna go through and I just like to, cause like this is such a beautiful card, right? And if it's in a bad team bag, it really almost takes away from how beautiful the card is. So we're gonna get this in a nice TSA size team bag, like this, and it just slides right in. Perfect. Voila. Beautiful. So every once in a while, I like to go through my collection and just make sure that everything is in a beautiful team bag. This one doesn't, my nice Cam Newman NT does not have a team bag. Beckett bag. Get that right in. Sometimes the Beckett ones aren't as tight on the card, but it still looks better in the card and it keeps the slab from getting scratched up. Nobody likes a scratched up slab. So if you have cards, right, and they're not in bags, I definitely recommend keeping your cards in bags, even if they're just in the case, because as your cards move, you know, it's so easy for these to get scratched up. And then, you know, you're trying to sell a card and Cam Newton has those three scratches over his face and nobody buying a card wants that. Somebody's gonna spend five, 600, 700 bucks, thousand bucks, they want it clean card so if you don't put your cards in bags I definitely recommend it and then for my better cards I do have nice black cases these are from cardcasepro.com you can also buy these at shows they're like three to five bucks sometimes dealers charge like eight dollars which is crazy but these are nice little bags to have for your higher end stuff but yeah I think that's pretty much everything my man Jameson Winston he needs a bag so we're gonna get him in a bag too like I said it just protects the slab and keeps the slab from getting super scratched up somebody actually like when I went to like my second or third card show ever I had none of my cards in bags and somebody was like yo you should put your cards in bags so they don't get scratched up because I, I had one card that was just like the case was od scratch and i didn't think anybody really cared about that because it's still in a the slab there was like dang bro like it was like a i think it was a brandon ingram prism or something they're like bro you need to get this in a bag here and they and they gave me a bag and i was like bro thank you all right, you're right. So now I just, it's something that I do. I like to keep my cards inside of bags. So yeah, if you don't, I highly recommend doing that. I'm about to take some pictures real quick. I'm gonna post up, this one needs a bag. But, so for pictures, I take them out the bag. Like that's why sometimes I don't have bags on cards. Cause like when you take pictures of cards, they look way better without the bag on. But this is my next Instagram post. KPJ, he's a buy, so I'm buying him up. I just got, I just prepped this Lamello Ball Silver. So this is about to go to Beckett. Hopefully we can pull a 9.5 out of it. Nine centering, 9.5 other three subgrades. And we can pull a 9.5, see how we do, but yeah. That's why you should put bags on slabs. Let's get it.